guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, this episode was draining, honestly. My, I feel like my energy levels are down. I need to pick me up because a lot happened. And, I, I'm, and honestly, guys, I'm not going to go too in. So please don't even expect me to go too in because at this point, like, this is deep. I feel like this is deep. And I'm going to just start off by saying that I feel like what Jax did was the right move. I feel like if he doesn't feel like he has the mental capacity to stay in the show, he should bounce. Whatever the reason is, guys, whatever the reason is, I think if he can't stay and participate and have a good time and enjoy and his head not be spinning, regardless of what the reason is, it's good for him to bounce. Now, we'll get into the reasons further on in this review but i feel like it's a good thing for him to balance but guys please let me know what you think in the comment section below but guys before i get into this review please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really appreciate it you already know road to 10k okay so guys this episode starts off with the boys entering the villa and adam of course is speaking to Gemma as we saw last episode and the boys come in lucas sees them see them talking and he's thinking what, what's, what's going on here what is really going on here? And he was like, I swear he's been on here before. You know he's been on here before, but that was just funny to me. Um, yeah, and I feel like automatically Luca was sweating. Like, automatically, before anything really even happened, before he even really got a chance to see anything, Luca is already sweating and he's very, very much so triggered. And then when Gemma tries to go up to Luca to hug him, he snubs her. Luca, this is very unattractive. Imagine you're upset that she's talking to a new guy and your way to deal with it is to snub her. Instead of you to be embracing her, you want to snub her. Guys, it doesn't make any sense. He's upset for absolutely no reason. And I'm sorry, guys, these are really, really big, 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 big red flags. I don't understand why he keeps on doing stuff like this. So the guys go off the talk and then Adam making a joke to Jack talking about, um, I've got nine lives, well, you might need a couple because of what you've been going through, which I found was really, really funny. Jack's took it on the chin. I also find it funny that Davide questioned um, Adam's age because let's be honest, when Adam said 26, Davide was like, mm -hmm. That's how I'm like, because I'm just like, there's just no way Adam is 26. I'm just, I just, I'm just in disbelief for his age. But we move, we move, we move. And then Luca is basically speaking to, I think he's speaking to Gemma or something, and he calls Adam a creep. And I'm like, why are you calling him a creep? Like, for what is the reason? Like, at least if you're going to say something, let it be based on something. I think he's just automatically jealous and literally nothing has happened. So imagine if some guy's actually coming in, going in for Gemma. He going to fight and he going to get sent home. That's just what's going to happen because I don't see what else is going to happen. He's just... Adam hasn't done anything. I feel like in this episode, you would think Adam really came and did a madness, like did a tornado. He really spoke to a couple girls a couple times and people are losing their heads and it's really not making sense. And then we see Adam pull Paige for a chat and all the guys are looking. All the guys are looking, thinking what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's going to happen. And this is where Jax really starts giving it the big gun, which is it's crazy how the episode ended because the way he was moving in the earlier parts of the episode, you would not have think he, he would decide to leave. But of course, you don't know what people are thinking about until they say it. So when Adam and Paige are having a conversation, he's like, um, I like getting to know you. Are you open to getting to know me? And Paige is like, she is open. And she was just like, as long as you're okay with me speaking to both you and Jax at the same time, then I'm open to get to know you. And then we see Jack speaking, and he's basically on some smoke talking about he best not be talking rubbish about me. Um, which was interesting, because I feel like Jax was propping himself up so much in this episode that what ended up transpiring just was two different complete things. So he was also saying that he feels that like Paige is playing around with him and is just pretending to like Adam, doesn't actually like Adam, and is ultimately gonna go back to, to her. Now, even though, let's even say, okay, let's even say Jax is right for argument's sake. Does he not know that if that's what she's trying to do to you, don't play up to it? Like, if you see someone playing games with you, don't, like, don't give them what they want. So I feel like if that's what he really thought, I hate the fact that he could not control himself to the point where he couldn't have seen past it. Again, if Paige is playing games, then that she shouldn't really be playing games. However, if that was what her motives were, see past it. Be okay. Take that test. You know, like, of course, he's missed the test. Take that test. Don't fail it. 
because you she wants a reaction out of you don't give her what she allegedly wants that's how i would see that's how i would personally myself play it and then he ends up saying let the games begin so it's just giving the impression that he's trying to be the big man and this is not going to face him and he's ready to, to to play around so then we see tash and andrew and i'm really sick of them guys i'm actually had it up to here like up to here guys i'm really sick of it but i love the joke that ian made ian said something like it's for the breast i mean for the best Ian, you got, you got, I gotta give you something for that because that one was funny AF. Um, Tashi's talking about how she's scared to get hurt again, and um, basically they get back together. And I got more like this couple gives me the ick. They both annoy me so much. And guys, please, if you have not already, go to Marad's interview with Molly, Jasmine, and Charlie. They spill some tea that is needed that we need to hear about. This, this couple. So I would advise you guys to head over to his video or his interview after you've watched mine and listen because there's more tea there that y'all got to know. Mm, that y'all got to know because let me not spoil anything to you, but just just go watch it. Anyways, so then we see Danique and Adam having a chat. We don't actually hear what they're talking about, but they're having a chat. Then Paige and Billy are having a chat and I think he just she's just trying to catch up with him, watch a new game plan, blah, 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 blah. And then um, Gemma, Luca, Jax and some other people are having a conversation. And I think, I, th I can't remember who said it, but someone, I think it was Tash that said, oh, he said about Andrew, your actions speak louder than words to her, which indeed he did say. And then Jax was like, oh, I hope he said something about me. I hope he's slagging me off. And I'm thinking, do you really hope so? And then Gemma, with her big old mouth, because guys, let's be honest, when it was Ek and Sue's turn, y'all were like, oh, there was no need for Ek and Sue to say something. So now Gemma's now said something. So y'all best be keeping that same energy, because I am. I am. I am. Sorry. Because for me, in this moment, the same thing, like, don't get me wrong here, yeah. in the same situation, both Ek and Sue and Gemma both shouldn't have spoke up. However, there's a difference, because now, uh, Gemma's a hypocrite. Gemma is now a hypocrite. And she's not a hypocrite to the person that did her wrong, Ek and Sue. She's a hypocrite to her girl. It's not landing. Ed said, don't say anything. But then Gemma went to go speak. I don't know why, because realistically speaking, you know what I mean? This, this whole thing happened because she opened up her mouth. Anyways, Gemma ends up saying, well, he was slagging you off. He was talking about you. He said you're immature. And then Jax instantly gets annoyed. And now that she's seen him get annoyed, now she wants to backpedal. You know what You know what type of time Jax is on. So don't go tell him stuff that you don't know in its entirety. He's getting wound up. He don't know, he, he don't know if he's coming or going anymore. So there was no need for her to have done that, considering that she... Well, that's not even her friend, that's her ex. I even forgot about that. Girl, I don't know. Maybe Gemma might have motive. I don't actually don't know. That's actually a good point. I just I just thought about that right now. So, anyways, I just found like he got super, super angry so so quickly. I was just not here for it. Like the like instant anger. And I'm just like, bro, a man called you immature. There's so many worse things that someone could call me in this life that I have been called in this life. I'm not I'm sorry, who is Adam? Let's talk about it. Who's Adam? Why do you, like, who's Adam? Who cares about his opinion? Like, why would he, with his opinion, trigger you so much? But I think his presence is just rattling the house. Like, Adam has barely done anything, not even 24 hour. Not even 24 hour, yeah? And people are just moving mad. And it's just like, can this man actually move like a bombshell first before you guys start doing this type of stuff? But guys, I feel like Jax is just on edge. And I think he's just been moving a bit you know what I mean? Not stable at the moment. Just absolutely not stable. So he goes to speak to Paige because Gemma's like, well, Paige knows, throwing her underneath the bus. Like, it's just not giving. But anyways, so he goes over to Paige. Well, he, he's walking to Paige. Well, he's walking somewhere and he's basically like, Paige, come, I need to speak to you now, now. Energy's all wrong. I'm not going to lie. Energy's all wrong. All wrong. Again, that same thing about the way in which he speaks to her is very inappropriate. It's too aggressive. And it's unwarranted. Paige has done nothing wrong. She doesn't even know what's happening. That's what happens. Then instead, he goes to Paige and Billy. And then he tells Billy to F off. Now, guys, me personally, he said he doesn't want Adam disrespecting him. So why did he feel comfortable enough to tell Billy to F off? Why did he feel comfortable enough? I feel like, guys, don't get me wrong. I understand like, the semantics and the factors that's going on. But I feel like it's very, very disrespectful for you to be upset with someone talking rubbish about you and you tell someone to F off to their face. It was very aggressive. It was so unnecessary. Billy did not deserve that. I feel like because Billy's a sweet guy, he could have said it. Billy's not going to pipe up. Billy's not going to say anything. If he said it to Dami, Dami would speak up. If he said it to Luca, Luca would pipe up. There's certain guys that will pipe up. I just I just felt like that was wrong. I understand he's upset, but he came over way too aggressive. Um, 
it, you know what I mean? And Paige was probably just thinking, what the hell is going on? Like, what is actually going on in this moment right now? So then he ends up saying Billy can stay, which I really don't get it. But I think, again, he was just too intense. And I think he just didn't know how to behave and he just didn't know how to act. And I agree with what Paige was saying. Don't rise to it. Like, you're getting so rattled behind what Adam's saying. Why do you care? If you're worried about what you and I have got going on and you're worried about Adam and it's just... It's not giving. And she keeps on saying she doesn't want to train a man to be a boyfriend. And I agree with that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm ready for a ready-made meal. You know what I mean? I want to make a ready-made meal. I don't want to have to... I don't even want to put you in the oven. I want a ready-made meal that I could just open up and eat from there. So I understand what she's saying, but it just... He just looked like he was whining and sulking and he just wasn't, he wasn't, he just wasn't calming down is basically it. I, I feel like Paige came with reason, but his head was gone and I just don't think it was going to come back. So then afterwards, they, no, he did actually in part come back, I'll give it to him. He ends up going to Billy and apologising, which I respect. He, he, he should have, he shouldn't even have said it to him anyways, but I'm glad he acknowledged that just because I'm like in upset doesn't mean I can be rude to somebody else, especially someone that doesn't deserve it. If you're going to give anybody anger, give it to Adam. He, even though he still also doesn't deserve it, but definitely not Billy. Billy doesn't hasn't done anything wrong. So then Paige is telling the girls what has happened, and she was just like basically saying he's not attractive, like how he's behaving, which I completely agree with. And then Adam ends up going to speak to Jax, and everyone's thinking what's going to happen, what is going down. So instead of Jax to just communicate how he feels, and again maybe this is where the ADHD comes from. I don't know, guys. I really don't know because I'm not a doctor, but. Um, instead of him to communicate and just be, and just even just, and just say what he wants to say. Cause I feel like a lot, a lot of people can go to anger first. So it's not even just not necessarily an ADHD thing. People can go to anger quickly for loads of different things and for just, you know what I mean? And just for like, for no reason. So instead of him to try to speak to Adam on a level and maybe just confront him, but, but just in a calm way, he's being passive aggressive. So he's saying stuff to Jay, like, Oh, what's your game? What's your chat? Like, what's your conversation? Like, like, just trying to stick it on him, but without Adam really knowing what's going on and not being direct enough. So he's trying to get out his anger to some degree, but not really dealing with it. So me personally, I feel like if you could have been calm enough, I feel like he should have approached the situation and went to Adam man to man and just said what he wanted to say, but calmly. But I guess he couldn't, which is fair enough. I feel like it's good because I feel like if you would have said something, things might have gone left. Him and Adam were sitting right next to each other. Things could have really went down. Ultimately, it was really, really awkward, and um, it just really wasn't really necessary. Uh, I, I just wish he, I wish he had the capacity to say what he wanted to say without being wound up. Because I think if he wasn't so quick to anger, I think a lot of things wouldn't be as um, serious for him. Now, honestly, guys, again, I'm not a doctor, guys, but I feel like, again, like I've said before, a lot of us need therapy. All, all of us could do with some degree of therapy, but I definitely feel like Jax does need just something because I feel like the way he's too quick to anger and the way he lets things that are so irrelevant get to him, I feel like he would definitely benefit from something like that. And because of course now he's saying that he's basically saying that his mental health is, str he's struggling at the moment because those, those are the words he used. I feel like, like he said, going back home, going back to his normal, but also I think therapy would be actually a really good thing for him to do because I feel like he's got potential um, and, I, and, and he's aware of the things he needs to work on. But of course, Sometimes we just need help to figure things out. That's and, and there's nothing wrong with us needing help. That's not that doesn't make a, a weak person or a soppy person or whatever, whatever. I think it's strong for you to actually realize that we have a problem and go to deal with it. For me, that's that's a strong person, in my opinion. But let me just carry on. So Adam is talking about who he had good chats with and he was like, he doesn't feel like him and Gemma got a lot in common, but he feels like Billy likes Gemma which is interesting. Um, Luca ends up coming and pulling Jax for a chat because he can still see that Jax is really, really wound up. And I think he just wants to help his bro out, which is fair enough. Um, then Jax is like, oh, he shouldn't be slagging me off and then trying to talk to me. I just feel like it's not that deep. Again, I don't think he was trying to like be chummy chummy with you. I think he was just being normal. People have chats, people slag people off. It is what it is. And I'm just thinking to myself in my head, you're saying, yeah, okay, behind the back thing is one thing, but you probably, I feel like Jackson's probably had conversations with Danny or with other people about Luca holding Paige hostage, but he only said it, he didn't even really say it to Luca's face like that, he only really mentioned it when Danny mentioned it. So, you know what I mean, Luca could have been really upset with you for that, but he didn't. So, I feel like he, he was, he was just thinking about himself, 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 rather than thinking about what he's uh, what he's done like he's talked horribly about Ekansu behind her back 
You know what I mean? But we're all going to talk behind people's back. You know what I mean? That's just called life. But he was, again, taking things super, super personal. And again, Adam hasn't even done much yet. What Adam said, it wasn't like, okay, yeah, it could be considered patronizing. Okay, I'll give them that. But Jax does have some degree of immaturity. And it's, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. It's not, he's not going to be immature for life. But to some degree, he is. I feel like even that whole rugby culture, for me, I find that even immature. Forget about Jax for a second. I feel like that whole thing is immature anyways. But let's move on. And I just feel like Adam's, uh, like Adam, the way he's rattled these people, he really is an OG legend bombshell because he hasn't even done anything yet. Like, let the man land before you guys start getting rattled. Anyways, Luca ends up pulling Adam for a chat despite Jack saying don't do it. And you would think Luca would come on some like, I don't know, you think oh, he would come on some sort of crud. Nah, this they had a chinwag. They had a really good goss. They were, you know, there was a lot of understanding there. Telling, um, informing Adam that Jack is upset, but if he acts up, he's okay. Like, don't worry about it. Da, da, da. So it was a decent conversation and it wasn't, it didn't go where I thought it was going to go. So then afterwards, we see Paige and Jax. And again, he's still complaining. He's like, oh, I don't want him to be talking about me behind my back and trying to be my best mate. He's not trying to be your best mate. He's just came into this villa, he's just talking, it's not that deep. And then Jax was just like, I'm just not gonna speak to him. And I feel like that's the, if that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do, but just bring it on down, bring it on down. And Paige used this moment to be like, you said you wanted to work on your communication skills and you're not working on it. The first chance you get to basically prove yourself, you act up and you do exactly what you're always gonna do. Now, to be fair, people are not gonna change overnight. People are not gonna change overnight. People are not going to change overnight. So for Paige to even think that he was going to change overnight, it was not going to be happy. It was not going to happen. Like he's going to fumble at least a couple of times, but that's what happens when you give people second chances. Potentially, they're going to disappoint you because you're asking someone to change their character, to change who they are. It's a difficult thing. It's a difficult ask, and it's not going to happen overnight. So he started shutting down, sulking again, and Paige was like, "I, that's, I don't like what you're doing right here." And I'm glad she's holding him accountable because I think these are things he definitely needs to work on. And I feel like I feel like Jax comes across like he's someone that has always gotten what he wants. And I feel like I've said this previously in a, in a previous video. And I feel like because he's not getting what he wants right now, that's why he's behaving. Why he's behaving. Um, I think at this point he does actually mention that he feels like he's struggling, in, which is it was sad to hear, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I know, but like this is a TV show, and oh gosh, he did a madness in cast and blah 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 blah. But it was sad to watch, in my opinion. And then he was in the bed when they were speaking, and he was saying that he doesn't want uh, Paige to get to know him. That if that was the case, it will break him. And then he ends up going outside to think, and then literally they just pad over to Adam, and Adam's sleeping good. Adam is sleeping good. We're not a worry in his mind. And I feel like Jax is just taking the situation way too serious. It's just it's just too intense. I feel like he just can't handle the whole idea of, oh my gosh, I got a graft for her. Now this new guy's coming. I might have to fight for her again. Now she's going to be talking to him. Like, his mind is rattled. But I just wish that he had the same, like, train of thinking in Casa. Because, yeah, okay, yeah, it technically wasn't in Paige's face, but she had to come back and hear about all this stuff. So I wish he had the same mindset that he has right now for Paige when it came to Casa, but he didn't. And then, guys, Tasha just really trying to always be a main character because I just don't understand what she's doing right now. So she's in the bed crying, talking about, I'm scared that Andrew's going to hurt me, but I'm also sad that I, I'm, I'm missing a chance to get to know you. Tasha, didn't you just say you and, you and Andrew were going to be 100%? Didn't, didn't you say you got, it was just going to be you and him? Like, Tash, you don't rest with this flip flop, and you don't, she don't rest. She don't rest, but guys, I'm not gonna dwell on her too much. But even still, um, Billy was better than me, because for me personally, I would have rolled over and went to bed. That's what I would have done. But Billy's had comfort in her, saying, don't worry about it, things are gonna be okay, blah, 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 blah. And he just seems like a really sweet guy, but Tash needs to just, she just needs to just take a pause and really just think things through. Anyways, in the morning, the girls have a chat, the guys have a chat. Um, Ek and Sue and David didn't look like they were doing bits underneath the covers. She said she gave him a blow dry. Now, guys, please let me know in the comment section below what you think a blow dry is because honestly, I can't even guess. Then um, the boys are also speaking, and Andrew is telling the boys that Tash is 100% into him now and isn't looking anywhere else. And Billy's face was like, What the hell? Like, we just haven't had a separate conversation yesterday, and that was not the impression that I got. But I think if anyone's dealing with Tash, you know she's going to be a flip-flopper. If you don't know that, that's on you. Um, and then also Adam is saying... I think David ended up asking Adam what happened between him and Ekansu, and he was like, I just feel like you guys are more of a friend, and then we spoke on the terrace, but she didn't shut stuff down. So David was okay with what he said. Adam didn't disclose too much. So for now, 
movie night is still pending with them too. Then we see Jack speaking to Luke and he's still very much so annoyed with himself, annoyed with his reaction. And he, he actually is recognizing that the way in which he spoke to her was very disrespectful. Now I'm glad he recognizes that, but I just want him to put actions to it. That's what I really want. Um, and he thinks that he'll get hurt if he stays. Again, going back to Castro Moore, I really wish he had that feeling, but I feel like to some degree, Jax has some degree of selfishness, which is why he didn't turn around and think about Paige when he should have been thinking about Paige. Um, and then we see Dami and Andrew and they're having a picnic um, for India and what's this girl's name, Tash. For me personally, they could have just left Tash and Andrew out of the picnic and just let it be um, Dami and... India, that's what I would have preferred. I feel like they were ruining it, but okay, fine. Um, I think definitely it's just crazy because all the boys that were moving mad at Castle are now on their hands and knees doing what they, what they were supposed to be doing. So they're all groveling back and I find it really funny. Then we see Luca and Jax have another conversation and he's talk and he's just he's just still burning. And he's saying he wants to sort things out with Paige. And then we see Paige and India have a conversation and Paige is recognizing that actions speak louder than words. He's saying he wants to do this. He's saying he wants to change, but I'm not seeing anything. He's too quick to anger. He speaks to me disrespectfully. And I'm so glad that India was a good friend here and was like, sis, it's not making sense. Like, she told her the actual truth. She didn't say, well, you and Jax have a better connection, so stay there. No. That's not what she wants. That's not what she wants. Paige knows exactly what she wants, and India knows what she wants. And the way Jax's behaviour is not conducive for what she actually wants. I'm glad that he had that honest conversation. Then we see Paige and Jax have a conversation. And guys, honestly, I feel like... I'm not a heartless person, so I definitely did feel, feel bad for Jax when he was crying, because I feel like men like him feel like crying is makes you weak. Um, crying's only for females, macho men don't cry. I definitely feel like he has that mindset. So for the fact that he was crying, I feel like it, I feel like there were very, very genuine tears. I feel like he was really, really hurt, and it was very uncomfortable to watch, if I'm honest. Then he ends up saying that, you paid you mean a lot to me, but I feel like I'm struggling, so I have to go home. Now, guys, we have to admit, that's a very mature decision for him to do. I, I also agree with him. If he's struggling like this, if this just past 24 hours rattled his head like this, if how he's behaved just on Adam coming is is just an, a little indication of how he's feeling, guys, he's got to go he has to go. And I think it's a very mature decision, and I respect him for making that decision because... There's no point in you staying in the house suffering more, going that crazy more, no. Losing yourself more, no, it's not making sense. And he's recognising that he feels like he's losing himself in the house and that he needs to go back and find himself. And I feel like that's the move. That is actually the move. Don't get me wrong, I'm sad that I'm not going to get the drama out of him. But guys, this show is, it's not all about drama. Like, his mental health is definitely on the line right now. Because I really don't feel like if it wasn't, he would expose it. Real talk, guys. He just wouldn't. So I think it's a good thing that he's going to go home. Paige is, of course, upset that he's going home and she feels guilty that she isn't leaving. And he's like, don't feel guilty. I'm going to pick you up at the airport. Um, but what about she finds a new man? Is she, is, he can't pick up from the airport then. Again, I don't really know how this is going to work out because if they're still technically together, then she should not leave. But then if she does leave, then does he have time to actually work on himself? Like, I don't know. It's a difficult situation, but I don't know if Paige is actually going to be able to move forward. We'll see because in the past, we've seen it before. Uh, my sister reminded me of Terry and Marlin when he was going on, like he was so upset. And in three, two, one, he already moved on. So I think... There are times when people get dumped or whatever and they do move on. We'll just have to see. I don't know if Paige is going to, but if Paige isn't going to move on, then maybe she just needs to go home. I don't know, but we'll just have to see. Time will tell, time will tell. And honestly, I just feel bad, but I do. I still do feel bad for Jax, but I feel like these are the consequences that, that, that were unforeseen. He didn't see these consequences. I, I didn't either. I didn't think he was going to be so triggered by Adam's presence. But I guess this is one of the consequences from his, for his actions for Akasra and more, making Paige feel uncomfortable and making Paige feel like she needs to fall back. And now because she has to fall back, now there's room for someone to infiltrate their relationship. So it's, it's, a, it's a bad situation for him. And then he ends up telling the villa and literally Luca's crying. I'm not even gonna lie, I felt so bad for Luca. Luca is losing his soulmate in this house, his bromance, his babes, his honey bun. Like he's losing it. And um, then when he tells everybody, of course, everyone is upset. And Adam's like, it's not me, is it? Of course it's not you. Of course it's not you, Adam. But I think it could have... It's Adam's presence. It's not Adam personally, but Adam's presence, uh, Paige, Paige's openness. That's what he's not here for. Um, 
Paige is here saying to the girls that he's the most genuine guy. Again, with statements like that, should she not go home? Maybe. Maybe he'll go back to where he's from. She'll go back to where she's from. And they'll meet up sometime in the future, if anything. I don't know. But I feel like her saying he was the most genuine. I don't think that was a true statement, but okay. Then Luca and Jack end up having a conversation and they're both crying and guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was hurting for them. Luca cry, you know like when, I, when you cry so much you don't even wanna wipe away your tears and Luca's tear was running down his neck. Like I felt so bad for them because they love each other. And I think it is cute, I think it's ironic that uh, Luca is best friends with Gemma's ex, but they, they're they just the same and you know what I mean? Ke chemistry is chemistry, guys, chemistry is chemistry. And I did find it funny that Luca was like, if Gemma wasn't in the house, I would leave with him. And I'm like, bruh, what do you mean? I've never heard such a statement before. Like, it's usually couples, not friendship couples. But I guess the love was just that real and he doesn't want to do this journey without him. Which I thought, I thought it was cute, but I thought it was funny as well. And then Jax was saying to Paige, I do, I do. I think he meant, I think he really wanted to say I love you, but I just don't think he, can, he could bring himself to say it. I don't know if it's love quite yet. I think it might be deep like lust. I, I would be surprised if love came about so quickly. I would really be surprised. But I just feel like he doesn't want to let go of her. He definitely wants to work on things so he can be a better version for her. Guys, we'll have to see. I think he needs to not do it for her. I think he needs to do it for himself. Because if Paige doesn't take him back, he needs or Paige moves on, he needs to do things for himself. So when the next girl comes by, he knows how to deal with situations and he behaves accordingly. And in, in a way that he's proud of himself and he can like, this is me, I'm Jackson, this is how I behave. Like, I think that's what it needs to be about. I don't think he needs to do it for anybody else. But ultimately, guys, this episode was quite sad. I do feel bad for him, despite the fact he did all that he did. And uh, guys, I'm, I am still recognising that. And I don't think um, there are excuses for some of the things that he did. But ultimately, I think he made the right decision to leave the house. Um, I don't really know how he's going to really work on his mental health so much, probably seeing how... Twitter done roasted him. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I wish him all the best. Anyways, I'm not heartless. I wish him all the best. I hope he gets things together. And I hope nobody else feels like they're going through anything like this. So, yeah. I respect his decision. But, guys, that's it for this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. And, guys, I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.